Hello and welcome to this little video on laying out a local four-player split-screen game on the Godot engine. This will be a video for, say, making some 3D kind of video akin to something you used to play on the N65. You know, it had many uh, four-player local games, so I'm going to show you how to lay that out and, you know, show a bit of a demonstration on that, too. I'm mainly going to use, I'm only going to use actually, the 3.0 version of the engine. Also a copy of this project will be included in the description. So let's get started. So let's first lay out the user interface itself. We have just a top control node right there along with one VBox container and two HBox containers. So let's put them right there. Got those two. Now we need to use viewport containers. The reason for this is the viewports themselves don't nicely draw onto a 3D GUI, at least not normally. We'll just um, duplicate those. Next, let's add in the viewports themselves which will have an associated camera. I'll show you that in a little while. There, so now I have, this is just the basic tree of how it should look before we really start going into it. So like I said, we have the VBOSS container, the two, ah, darn it, it's supposed to be HBOSS. Let's change that type, shall we? Okay, there are now those are changed. But anyway, yeah, so we have the one VBox container and the two HBox containers and their associated viewports. So next, let's create a, an arena of some kind. Let's just use a bunch of meshes and, and boxes for stuff like that. color like that. Yep. Call that the floor. And next let's put in some walls. Here, how about I just fast forward through this because it takes a while to build this. <laughs> so that our players won't fall through the floor or go completely through the walls. Uh, 
And now let's build our players. Oh yeah, let's first save that. Dead gummit. And now let's play our, now let's make our characters separately. Now I like to make them separate because you, they're easier or at least better to control, uh, especially if you want to say move the camera around, you know, uh, when you're playing the game. So for instance, you could rig it up such that the player uh, or such that the, the user could say move the camera with the mouse or the thumbstick. But currently I'll, I'll just, um, not going to go into great deal with that right now. Uh, so, like I said, keeping it simple, we'll just make them boxes. <sighs> just make him red. Give him some collision. And we'll also give him a camera, very important, so that we can draw onto the viewport. Yeah, when I have a camera like this, I move it along the z-axis right here, move that back, flip this around. And now let's adjust it more. Yeah, I'm gonna show it from the viewport of the camera. Go into two viewports, click, okay, good, that's selected. Then you go to preview over here, and now I can see it from the camera itself. Move that up. Yeah, I usually have these in third person instead of first person, so yeah, move that back. There we go. Turn that off. Okay, so pretty much this character is done. I will duplicate this one three times, but here's also another Here's also another setting that's very important. Go over to here, click on camera, and go over to here in the inspector where it says current. Click that on so that the viewport will know this is the camera to use for that node. So now let's duplicate these guys and then finally move them over to the field. I'll fast forward through that. Okay, now we're in our field scene and wow that looks pretty dark um here let me put in a uh let's see here what was it uh, i'll put in a directional light so that we can actually see something in here give me a second Okay, there, now we can see the field a little bit better. Next, we'll put all of our characters, all of our uh, player characters, I should say, into their respective viewports. So let's just put that one right there, one right there put them right there. I may as well name the those right there. Okay, those guys are all there, and let's put them into place. What I what I typically do in this sort of situation is I put them at the corners. So let's do that.
Okay, now that I've set out my characters, now let's go to the hard part of actually laying all of this out or properly moving it within the confines of the controls. Yeah, we're going to have to mainly use the size flags here. So expand that out. Hbox. So horizontal expand and that one expand. Two Hbox containers. There. You can see the, um, the beginning of proper layout. Go into the viewport containers. Expand that out. And now we have what looks like the layout for a four player split screen, but we can't see any of our characters. The thing is that we have to go into the viewport container and select it as stretch. So now we have a, well, we have a blank screen. That's one of the problems. From what I've read, this is a bug in the engine. Yeah, so even if you say work with these, you know, say uh, change the horizontal and vertical from expand to fill, even if you, you know, change those, it won't properly display it. From what I've seen, what you have to do is you have to reload the scene. So, yeah, let's reload that. There we go. And now we see that our characters are properly displayed. Now, please remember that it has to have this, it has to have this layout at least for the split screen. You have to at least have the viewport container, the viewport itself, and the player itself with the camera because if you move that out if the camera is not a child of the viewport it will not work it the viewport will not display that camera so anyway let's add a uh, script to one of these just to show it in action just to show the movement of this so uh, let's see here I'll just extends kinematic uh, script. Yeah, go into the script right there. Okay, good. Create that. Yeah, this is a script that I have. Yeah, this is a script that I found from. Uh, let's see, I think the guy's name's Jeremy Bullock. see it in action right here and now I can just move the character with the directional keys as you can see in the main square right here in the upper left one the character moves and it moves in response to all the other ones right here so yeah what you could do is you could have you know split screen like this with a bunch of you know local players and well, I guess it would be a lot of fun. I mean, this should spark your imagination. There we go. Or at least I hope it sparks your imagination. Well, anyway, yeah, this is the... Uh, that was a video on um, laying all this out. Um, 
if you want to you can take this and just play with it or add a bunch of other stuff or maybe you can just make it say a three player game or even a two player game but yeah I hope that this taught you something I hope that you learn from this and I hope you have fun with it and have a good day